In the building, how you feeling? Like old man pops. No, no it's good. <laughs> it's, yeah. good yeah. it's good, man. It's good. See what's in front of me. Yo, facts. I yo, can't facts. have. I can't have any complaints. Yo, matter of fact, you know, Mama sent me. She was like, Yo, you know what, Cam? I love you so much. <laughs> no, I didn't have nothing to do with you this time. This is all me. It's a All me. All me. But yo, we today, got salad. Salad. Yes. Man, <laughs> catfish yeah. fillets. And one of my, this is in the top, mm, I don't know, I got several. Yeah. It's in the top few percentage of, her, <laughs> she got, of, of Mama Cinnamon, what she cooked for me. Oh my favorite top dish is baked spaghetti. Yes. And she make her own garlic bread. <laughs> yes, yes. You, you know what I'm saying? See, we eating, we eating healthy over here. We got the greens with the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we blew, it, we blew it with the Pepsi, but some meals you gotta just go. You gotta. Yeah, you can't have water with nothing like this. Yeah. yeah. Now my one question is, this the catfish filet, right? Mm -hmm. Now mom never told me to tell me the difference. What is it? Is, does catfish filet have bones in there? No. Right, filet is is cut like this way, so you you cut it down to the bone before you get to the bone. They lay it flat and then cut it, cut it this way. Steaks, if it's that's the one with the bone, they cut it all the way down, and cut it through like this way. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's all a right. good way to just make sense. Too. Makes sense. Are you gonna get into it? Uh, can we please? Yeah, yeah. my fault, my fault. All right, let's pray first. <laughs> guys, good guys, great. Thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Please let it be a nursery to our bodies in Jesus' name. We pray, man. Amen. Um, man, man. Woo. I don't know what to start with first. No, uh, I'm gonna hit my yeah, side. salad. You gotta get the salad out the way because yeah. I mean salad. Then she put, is this Italian dressing? Yeah, it's Italian. Yeah, mm. it's Italian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. 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 Wait a minute. So, Pops, how's your week been? My week has been, it's been good. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's, um, my work is a, it's a busy time of year. Really? Mm-hmm. It's because it's in the core? No, no, bro. No, just busy time in the in the plant with work going on with a lot of extra work, and it uh, doing certain parts of the year makes uh, makes things manual, so it's mm -hmm. just extra mm -hmm. extra manual work. <laughs> now, lately, the system has been a little slow. Oh man, that's terrible. So it takes time to get stuff done, but it's all good. Nah, it's all good. Hey. Blessed to have a job and a good job. Yeah. And um, well, I'm good. I am um, glad I'm glad, glad school is done. Oh my God. Um, this is gonna get so much turn up. Now I'm looking forward to uh, the summer, the good weather. Yeah. Now let me I'll ask you a question. Well, do you think, do you think Mama Sediment has any kind of inclination what's going on for her birthday? No. She nah. knows. She's, oh my God, she is, yo. Like the other day I was washing my clothes or whatever, and she was like, Cam, you're not going nowhere, what are you watching? You can't even surprise her because she's so nervous. I'm like, just because I, you know, I want to wash. She was like, then she start looking at me and like, you know, I'm, I don't know if moms in general could just tell you like, not lying, but know some stuff. They have that feeling. She acting. <laughs> she's like, um, oh, man. Damn, something happened, something else happened though. It was just, 
know. She make it hard to surprise her because she asks 20 questions and then I say, you want me to tell you? You want me to tell you? No, no. And then you tell her she get mad. <laughs> no, I don't want you to tell me. Mm. Now, you know one thing I haven't told her though? Right. Now I gotta get your opinion on this. So you know this is the last season of Power. Yeah. And if you guys don't know this, that is our family show. <laughs> we watch literally as a family. Yeah. Man, how you think I'm gonna take that? Um, you know, we've talked about that. I think she gonna wanna try to skip some episodes to make it last. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not watch it every week. Mm. So uh, and it comes on later. Last, but it comes on later August. Mm. So that's gonna be rough. It is. Nah, that's one of our family favorite shows. Guys, not looking forward to it ending. But he claimed he got something up his sleeve. Uh -huh. To uh, that's supposed to be better. So we'll see. No, yeah, that's a lot to be better than power. Mm. You think we should tell her on her birthday? Hmm? You think we should tell her on her birthday? <laughs> no. We don't want to make her say it. It was like, yo, guess what? What? <laughs> Bowel not coming back. Bowel not coming back. <laughs> She'll be mad. No, yeah, I don't want to make her say it. No. We'll wait till after her birthday to tell her. No. Man, this is so good. Mm -hmm. The only one question is, right? Even her salads are good. Right? This salad had a taste to it. Alright. So what one question is, right? Oh man, I dropped something. Um uh, one question is, what is mom's best dish to you? Mm -hmm. What is mom's best dish? It's so many, it's, it's hard to pick. Mm -hmm. Do I get one A one B? You know what? You get one for lunch and dinner. <laughs> That ain't gonna help. Yo, hey, you got um, I would say, if I had to pick, if I had to pick two, gotta pick two. Man. A chicken parmesan. Mm. Okay. One of, you know what I, you know what, I got it, chicken parmesan and chicken and dumplings. Really? Yeah. Dang, that's hard. Okay. Ooh. See how it just falls off the man. Can't say it falls off the bone, but it falls off whatever it is. It falls <laughs> off the bone. <laughs> that's what I would say. Chicken parmesan and uh, uh, chicken and dumplings. This is amazing. Then if you go to, like you said, lunch, she makes buffalo wings, but she makes the actual buffalo sauce. Man, <laughs> yeah. Man listen. Well, you can go on and on. Well, steak taco, her steak tacos, mm -hmm. the oh, chicken right. taco. Oh, I forgot we got napkins right here. Oh, hey. You can go on and on and on. I, I, I really look forward to uh, being able to share her meals with everybody. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. This, you'll be able to learn it firsthand because we do, we plan to have our first very own, our very own mm -hmm. meet and greet. Really? Yeah, what do you think about that? It's gonna be after the first of the year. Okay. Uh, in New York, yeah. what we do? No. Okay. And what we do? You'll be able to come and see what we rag about all the time about her cooking. Yeah. I'll see her put out a spread. Yeah. And you can come and eat with us and, and hang out with us. It's something about mom cooking. This is just she, she do it again. so fast. <laughs> she do it. It's like normally it take like two, three hours for somebody. Man, mom is sending me. She's a uh, her cooking. Like 
I think my favorite thing that she makes is anything soul food dinner, anything mm. soul food wise. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Like her green, her greens. My God, her greens are amazing. And for lunch, her string beans and white potatoes. What? Oh my greens? No, I'm oh them. man. Oh, okay, I'm saying these are having a debate. No, in addition to brother, in addition to. Mm, okay. All right. So since. Well, name one chef that you would rather have they cooking. You gotta have they cooking beside tomorrow. One chef? One chef, like one famous chef. I see, I couldn't, I would struggle with that one because I don't know famous chef's name. I can tell you is one that I know, um, and I, I like like pastas and Italian food, so I would have to go with Emerald and Lagasse. Mm. That's the guy that said, bam, right? I just don't say bam. I don't know. No, me neither. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, yeah. I think I'm going to have to go with a famous chef. Uh, it have to be uh, Chef Camsey. Uh, very How did cool. I know that? You, I had a feeling that was coming. Very, very young chef. Uh, very handsome. Actually, he's from New York. But no, I think I have to say, like, I love Gordon Ramsay. I was watching him try to make the perfect burger. I'm sitting I'm like, yo, that bird, it looked good, but I think mom, mom birdies be fire. Uh, but, that's just like, you know, I have a couple, we have a couple business ideas mm -mm. that'll incorporate her mm -hmm. cooking. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I know it would be a hit, too. I know it will be a hit. So name one of your biggest like business things that you like, businesses that you would like to open in the future. Oh, that boy get deep, man. Mm, getting deep, baby. I don't want to tell out my idea. Okay. But I have a, I have an idea of a, of a space. There's a lot of things lacking for the for the fellas to do. Mm. Um. There's a lot of things that's more catered towards the women. Mm -hmm. Women spend, women tend to shop and spend more. Mm -hmm. But fellas like nice things and like nice spots to hang out too. So I, I, I have a vision of a male, a male spot, um, sports bar without the bar, mm -hmm. where it's it's event based. Mm -hmm. And so if it's NBA Finals, mm -hmm. you come in, you pay whatever, and then Mama Cinnamon have appetizers and whatever, and you come and you, mm -hmm. you fellowship with us and eat with us, and you charge a fee. We'll rent the space out if need be. Okay. But it'd be mostly, it's mostly event-based for sports, sports stuff that's going on, be it if it's the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. Blackhawks game, World Series, whatever okay. the case may be. Good idea. Yeah, Valentine's Day, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to pop my eye. I hope, I hope no guy want to be around all guys they got a woman. No, oh. no. Oh, who? It's not just for it, but. <laughs> <laughs> not just for it, but it'll be like, hey, baby, I'm leaving to go hang out with the guys tonight. Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. When they come home and stuff, be outside. <laughs> 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 She'll do the Angela Bassett on Wait Six Hill. Oh man. We've talked about that too. She knows that's a that's kind of a, a little vision of mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I would enjoy. Yeah. I enjoy doing. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I know me personally. I love to open like a store for uh I think underprivileged kids or whatever. Um so I could help them out at. You know, a lot of people we we, we tend to forget that sometimes how blessed we are, we, we tend to forget until you see like, man. Because I remember it was, I was part of this program in high school where uh, you, we was helping with helping kids get stable housing. And I'm like, you like people with high school going? I thought this was like only things for adults. Mm -hmm. Never knew like somebody that could be, I'm talking to every day could be going through housing instability. And one of the girls that I knew, she was actually going through and she came to me and she said it. And yo, that day I, I came home, I was like, wow. You know, so I love to 
open like a housing. Uh, it's not really a business, but it's just a, you know, something that I would love to do just yeah. for the community base. Uh, because I mean, that's something that, that's definitely needed. You know, Another that, thing that Mommy and I have talked about is, um, you know, us being a basketball family and really into basketball and really knowing what it takes, you know, young, there's a lot of young talent yeah. in, in the cities. Yeah. But they just don't have, have the funds available to be able to be involved in a, with AAU program, something that's going to really put them on the platform to show yeah. what they can do. Yeah. Yeah. We want to have our own AAU program eventually where we would once we picked the kids, we would just sponsor them all. Mm -hmm. well, all they would have to do is just come for sure. sign in yeah. okay. and, and, and just play. And we've talked about that and be able, where they would be, they would just be sponsored. Yeah. All they, uh, you like know, as long as they maintain their grades we and stay out of trouble. I would make it where it's reachable, not too high. I mean, the C <laughs> like average five is very, <laughs> but C average is very attainable. Yeah. Um, for for anybody, it may take a little extra hard work, more focus for some other, a little harder than others. But it's very, very much manageable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and put them on the platform and 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 really give them, give them the opportunity along with everybody else, and not be held back just because they can't afford to be a part of, mm -hmm. of the AAU circuit. Yeah, I know. I I remember uh, one of our cousins. I think they be talking about like. Twenty five hundred, yeah. Some and that's not even that. an elite program. Mm -hmm. Elite program, you got to charge that. I think I was watching one video where they say one kid's getting charged like five stacks. They charge your kids five stacks, but that's per like kid. really up there. Because I know one of the Chicago's is a uh, Chicago. Um, what is it? What is it? What is it? Ice Ice Man. I think Chicago's is like real big program with Ice Man. Mm -hmm. Something like that. It's a few. Yeah, Chicago yeah, has a few. But well, that's definitely something big, though. Now, I have a question, though. So, back in the day, uh, I remember you telling me that AAU wasn't really popping. Like, how's it? How back it in my time, time, no. So, how would, like, how would people get discovered? You would get, so, back then, it was, they was based around invitation-only basketball camp. So, you would get, they would come and it was so you would get your exposure through high school ball. Okay. You play for your teams. The coaches would come out, and then they would get in contact with the high school pro with the high school coach. Yeah, yeah. And communicate through them to you that way, mm -hmm. and then you'll get an invitation to their camp. Right. Mm -hmm. And then what you would do is you would during this weekend you would go to this camp, and then they would run drills during the day. You have in the morning. You have lunch, and then you run scrimmages. They just tell you what team. You know, they pair you up with teams or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then that's how you. That's how you were noticed back then. Okay. Okay. That's now, how other, you were noticed back then. My other question is: Do you think it's more Park Legends? Like, do you think Park Legends could be some of the players that that it came out like that went to invitational camps? Because I remember I see some of those. Some boys was able to ball. Oh, absolutely. Like, absolutely. I think. That's why the AU circuit is so large, and there's so much money. Oh, in really? it. I know. oh yeah. Oh. yeah I'll take that back. That there's back. a lot of money, especially the coaches that you know the coaches make a big grip. It's a it's a lot of money in in the circuit, and that's where it comes from. It's so prominent with getting kids to the next level. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think it's easier for kids to get noticed nowadays, or think it was? Easier it's easier to now than yeah. It, yeah. It's easier now. You got. You got YouTube. You got yeah. YouTube. You put your yeah. videos on YouTube, um, and 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 then also it's um, they use a lot of social media and a lot of social media platforms to be able to to for you to know who's ranking, what their mm -hmm. stats are. Yeah. You can just go to these. It's one called Blue Media. Blue Media. You can go to Blue Media and you can put in the state, and it's going to give you. It's going to give, yeah, it's going to give, not just the top, but it's going to give you, like, way even to mediocre. It's going to give really? you their stats, yeah. What high school they play for, okay. if they play for an AAU program. They'll, um, there's other, I can't think of the, it's escaping me. It's Midwest Recruiting Report. 
Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. I think I know what you're talking about. It, Midwest Recruiter. Is that or, uh, that's called M- M- MWRR. Mm-hmm. I got something that comes like to my phone. Yeah. That's that's another one that's a real good one. Is it it breaks down. It gives the the player the high school profile, but then it breaks down their AU. So it'll put the team that they're with, uh, their schedule. If you want to know their schedule, yes, yeah, it goes really really in depth. Jesus Christ! I so if you I have know. anywhere in the country, if you have certain players that you're actually following, mm-hmm. even if you miss their game. You can, because it's updated after certain tournaments, you can go back and look at their website and it'll tell you what they did. Jesus. So it's much easier now mm-hmm. than, it, than it was back then. Now, my one question, right, my last question is how, because this is something I never get, like how do they rank players from like who's the best high school player? Because they all, like I remember I was watching, um, I was watching NBA Drive like last year, Caleb Swanigan, who's a, a boy maker. I don't know what they sound is, but he's a bullet maker. And uh, he was after like 19 and 11, but he was like a late first round pick. Yeah. Like, I wonder how do they like... It's not about point. It's not just about point. I'm saying like, so stats wise though, the stats were off the chain. I wonder how do they pick like... Like, cause I remember even I was watching a documentary about Benji Wilson, how they picked he was going to be the projected, well, the number one player in Chicago. I wonder how do they do that. Oh, you know, over the years of the game, as, as the game have changed, your ranking went up depending on how versatile you you are. Mm, okay. So if you were if you were six five six six, but you could play the wing, mm-hmm. you could had a jump shot and you can dribble. Okay. Your stat when your stat doubled. Okay. Every, your your ranking doubled. Excuse me. Your ranking doubled as opposed to if you could be just averaging 15 a game. Mm-hmm. But if you had six assists along with it because you were out on the wing, mm-hmm. your stock just raised that much higher. Oh, okay. Okay, I always wondered that. Because it's just like I was watching like some of the... They were talking about uh, how... Uh, who, was, who was ranked? The guy Mikey Williams, how he's ranked so high up. Mm-hmm. And I ain't gonna lie, I watch this game. He could beat me, definitely. But he... I mean, he's good, but I... I didn't see what all the hype was about. Mm-hmm. But, 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 but the that's all it is. It's one thing that won't change is people in the game of basketball knowing you can't teach hype. So if you got a kid that's <laughs> there's a there's a kid now. I don't know what state he's in, but I've been watching him since he was twelve. His name is Imani Bates. Oh, the uh, next KD. You know, that kid, it. what, eighth, ninth grade, he's like six, 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 seven. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't teach that. Yeah. <laughs> nah. You now, can't. on now, on top of him being that tall, that young, he has a phenomenal game. He's but naturally now, talented, and then he has the right people that's working with him. But won't they need start to hurt like early when they hit those growth spurts? It depends. There's some that have those issues, but he, it appears to me with him. Uh, his body mechanics is right. Somebody really started with him with where they was um, doing a lot of conditioning. Okay. Body mechanics has a lot to do with injury. Really? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, it has okay. a lot to do with injury. You can have somebody that's that's in tip top shape and keep getting hurt because they went body mechanics is off. Loving the pieces, but that's Derrick Rose's problem. Really? Okay. His his body. Look at the way he lands. Now, how do you fix body mechanics? Because I mean, that's kind of hard to fix, right? Get rid of bad habits. You have to slow down and and work your way work your way up. It's like dribbling. Okay. If your dribbling is bad, you get through the season, and then after in the off season, you start off from scratch. Dri- you know, start slow, and dribbling right, and then work it, getting your speed up after you get the. The motion oh, correct, right? Okay, okay. Well, you got some. You heard it here from Coach Pop. <laughs> you yeah, heard it here. Yeah. I yeah. miss coaching, man. I, I uh, one tidbit about me: I played. Uh, it was pretty, pretty good back in the day, and then um, our our uh, our daughter played ball, and I kind of lived through. Kind of lived through Kayla for a yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I lived through Kayla for a minute with playing ball, but then I I end up by fluke mm-hmm. coaching. Really? Yeah, I end up coaching coaching her team for a season by fluke. 
Oh, uh, how did that happen? Her trainer, her trainer that that was training her, ended up being the coach in the program that she was playing AU ball with. Okay. And him and I just got close. From me, you know, I would go to the sessions with her and go into the practice with her. And he was like, come on, get on the floor with us. Help me out with these drills. Mm -hmm. And then they just kind of flowed from that. So then that was in the off season. So when the AAC, AAU season started, he was like, man, I don't have no assistant. Can you can you assist me? Yeah. And it just right. it just took off from that. It's already and when they got my yeah when they got my AAU credit coaching credits and everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Now, would you ever coach like a, a, a high school team? No. Really? What about like you? Well, why not? I I have a I think. Think for me that the 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 buzz of the AU circuit, yeah. I like that. Okay, but I wouldn't go any further than that. It's just the kids in, in that and during that time is really hungry. It's technically the off season. That's where a lot of a lot of kids and a lot of coaches or trainers or whatever the case may be, they will force you to slow it down to get the game right, so mm -hmm. the fundamentals are better. Mm -hmm. um, the the skill set. Yeah. Is a little higher. Yeah. To be honest with you, a lot of teams that's put gun in these tournaments, they take in the top ten that's in the whole area and putting them all on the same team. So yeah. it's good to watch that type of talent gel together mm -hmm. and see how they do. So Yeah, yeah. You know, I should definitely become an AU coach. I'll be out there. Yo, you suck! <laughs> Get up! <laughs> a, but you know what? You know, to that point is like I said earlier. It's a lot of it's so much talent out there that mm -hmm. the, that you don't have, you don't have the financial means or even a know how to get yeah. into that to be seen. Right. But yeah. definitely deserve the opportunity mm -hmm. because of where the talent level is. Yeah. yeah. So that's something that's I really, really, really want to do. I agree because I remember it was some boys at school. Them boys. But I tell you, it was one guy here. I, I forgot his name, but he was, he was, man, he was a beast on the court. And then I don't know what happened to him. I think he ended up, he ended up going away, but I think he never like he you know going straight to the army or something. After he went away, and it was just like he had so much potential. Like he was tall, and I think like in, so at the time I was like in second grade. Well, no, no, I was like in third grade. He was like in sixth. He was just. Dunking out the gym, mm -hmm. and he had such a nice, like a nice shot and everything. And, he, and we all was just like joking, but I remember one day he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna go pro watch." And I mean, he didn't follow through with that dream, but I mean, he had. I mean, as a kid, I think everybody has once they hit yeah. those shots, yeah. everybody has potential think, to go yeah, pro. Think, yeah, but I think we ended up going to the same high school, and he, man, he was actually the number. He had the. Top ten. He was one of the top ten shooters in uh, in Chicago. And he he had a torch. He had. We ended up going down state with him. And I think he ended up going like to 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 to, to what school did he go to? He was some some small school. And then he just ended up going off. Yeah. To the, it, uh, it's definitely there. a lot. You have to. It's a lot to it. Mm -hmm. um, it takes a lot of dedication. It's a lot of sacrifice. Yes. yes. Giving up yes. giving up your personal time. Yeah. But you know it all depends on. What you passionate about and what you know, what you serious about for you. That's true. That is true. That's true. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, this this, this dinner was amazing. Woo. Our combo was lit, also, man. Uh, yo, hope you guys. We'll definitely be doing some more of this. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Also, 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 please don't forget to check out the Epic Empire. The links will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to check out To Love Thing. The links will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to check out the greatest gaming channel of all time. This guy's amazing. The ladies love him. The fellas want to be him. He smiles. Man, the world is just a better place. Camera the games. <laughs> the links will be in the description box below. And also don't forget to check out my beautiful sister, Key. Key's Wait. Wait. Key's Wait. Her link will be in the description box below. And also the great news, Camera the games will be able to do two videos today. <laughs> Yeah. Breaking news. Breaking news. Ba, 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 ba. Breaking news, baby. <laughs> yeah, yes. So I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, hope you guys have a great week, actually. Been had a great week. We love you guys. Adios, amigos. Have a safe weekend, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Yes.